Here we are at example three from our 5.17 notes. We're asked to simplify this following expression. Uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and start off with this piece, this x squared y cubed, all of that raised to the fifth power. And the reason for that is because, well, frankly, this guy has an exponent, it's five, and this guy is just y to the eighth. He's just literally y to the eighth. So we'll rewrite that, y to the eighth out in front. And with this part, we notice that we have a power property going on. So power to a power. So we're going to distribute that 5 to both items. So we have this base x. Its exponent is 2. And anytime we have a power raised to a power like that, we're going to be multiplying those two powers. So we'd have x squared times 5. Same thing's going to happen for the y. So we have y cubed times 5. And now we can just simplify this up a little bit further. We have y to the a times x to the 10th, y to the 15th. Now what we can go ahead and do is we've simplified everything or as much as we can with that inside parenthesis part, but we are taking the product of two things that do have the same base. And anytime we are taking the product of uh, something with the same base, we know that we can go ahead and add those corresponding exponents. So the x to the 10th is still just x to the 10th. He's not changing at all. Our y though, again, multiplying with like bases, we're really adding the exponents. So we have 8 plus 15. And as a result of that, we end up then with x to the 10th, y to the 23rd. So this would be our most simplified version that we can get. Again, that is example three from our 5.1 set of notes.